Now I think I'm gonna wear the hat backwards for this video. Yeah, much better. What's up YouTube? This is Costa Ford and something coming at you with another video. In this video, we have a video that I've been trying to make for the longest time. As you could tell from the title, we have a clothing haul video. And I haven't done a clothing haul video in over a year. My last clothing haul video was from January 30th of 2015. I will link that right here if you click the little eye icon. Also, if you're wondering why I'm looking up, I got a monitor for my camera so I can actually see myself. That's really helpful for this clothing video. For my last clothing haul video back a year ago, I didn't have this monitor and it was the hardest thing making that video because I, I couldn't see myself and it's kind of hard to sh show off clothes without seeing what you're doing and like I had some weird mirror set up. But yeah, making that last clothing haul video was just so difficult and I really been meaning to make a clothing haul video. It was just so much work and I it's gonna be so much easier to do it with this monitor. So I can see myself. Let's get straight into this video. Okay guys, so since it's been a year since I've done a clothing haul video, I've accumulated a lot of clothing pieces over the year, about over 70 pieces. So I'm breaking up this haul in four parts. I will try my best to link every single item down in the description of each video. Also guys, if you want to know what clothing rack this is and where I picked it up, I made a video on it a couple months ago. Uh, I'll link it right here. I did a video on where I got it from and me installing it. Okay guys, so for these first couple of shirts, they do just basic tees, so I was gonna, I'm gonna go buy these pretty quickly. This first tee, we got this off-white kind of beige shirt. Kind of matches my wall by um, H&M long shirt as you could see. 2015 was like the year of me getting into long outfits, like basically long everything, coats, shirts. This shirt is 100% cotton. It's really, really, really soft and I love this shirt. These basic tees I can wear with a lot of things and yeah, that's the first shirt. Next up we have the same exact shirt in like an olive color, still by H&M. Picked the, both of these up in store, not a whole lot you could say about them. And yeah, really good layering piece, uh, solid color for the fall, wear this a bunch in the fall. And you really can't go wrong with this olive color. So I'm not really going in a specific order with these pieces, they're kind of Oh, not in chronicle, chronological order at all. I'm just trying to get this done as soon as possible. And so next up we have this actually pink shirt right here by Elwood Clothing. This is a size large. Oh yeah, I forgot to say the sizes for the other shirts, but both of them were a size large. I usually get a large with my shirts now, or sometimes with Zara I get extra larges because their stuff runs small. But from Elwood, I got a large. There you go with the color. It's a really nice pink. Got this scoop neck right there. As you could see, Elwood clothing, and it's a large. And one thing that I've been rocking this a lot with is my um, pink hat that I've got recently. Basically the pink version of this, as you've seen in my previous videos. Yeah, pretty basic tee, and yeah, let's throw it on. Next up we have another shirt by H&M. This is a, not the same model, but it's still a long an extended tee. Got this like Oreo speckled pattern on it as you can see. And I got this really, really low pocket that you also have a seam going down the spine. And yeah, another shirt by H&M. Okay guys, so getting to the next tee, we have this teal, kind of Tiffany blue extended shirt by Scout. Never got anything from this brand before. I think, I, I believe I got this off Carmeloot. That's why I got this brand. That's how I found out about it. Scout Large, again, it's a kind of a scoop, kind of hard to see. Can't really say a lot about these t-shirts. They're very, very basic and really essential layering pieces. I think this is 100% cotton as well, but really, really soft, long t-shirt by Scout. Let's try it on.
Next up we have this pretty thin shirt by, I never know how to pronounce this brand, it's Ryan Storm, I think. Oh, there, there it is right there. You could kind of see that, there you go. Ryan Storm, this is once again a large, I actually picked this up from PacSun in the mall. It's a really long shirt, got a split hem right there as you can see. And yeah, this is a pretty long shirt. Actually, don't know what the materials are on this. It's a pretty see-through material. Not sure if you could go pick that up. It's a pretty see-through material. You can kind of see me. So yeah, actually, this is 100% linen. That's why it's just a thin shirt. But yeah, really breathable. More of like a spring-summer kind of shirt because how breathable it is. Really can't wait for the summer so I can break this out again. And yeah, long shirt by Ryan Storm. Next up for the tall tees, we have another H&M shirt. Got a lot of stuff from H&M, Zara, stuff like that. But we have this extended shirt right here, no split hem. I don't really know what's around it. I kind of just liked how it looked. There's like all these words and prints all over it. So yeah, you see how big this shirt is? It goes down to my mid thighs. Believe it or not, this is actually a medium. I don't really understand sizing these days. I feel like it's way off. For measurements, I'm about 5'9 and like a quarter, or I don't know. I really don't know anymore. But so let's just say 5'9 and 145 pounds. I'm decently tall, but this is a size medium. I just don't understand that. But yeah, let's throw it on. Another basic tee, we got this like kind of burgundy shirt by Zara. This is actually the cheapest thing I've ever bought from Zara. It was like, I believe $7. Um, right now, actually, Zara's having a big sale, but I got this a while ago. It's not really that long of a shirt. It actually goes like a little past the waist, but it's a pretty short shirt. It's like kind of a burgundy maroon, as you can see. There, here are the maroon sixes. I guess you could say it's maroon. But yeah, that's the Zara shirt right there. And let's throw it on. Okay guys, next up we have a shirt that I actually got in the summer from my friend Shayna for my birthday. Uh, shouts out to Shayna and Lizzie. But yeah, I got this shirt by BDG. I don't really know, it's a v-neck size medium. It's from Urban Outfitters. Pretty basic shirt, it's a bright red. It actually matches well with my Chinese New Year dunks. Actually today is Chinese New Year. Um, this video was recorded on Monday. Don't know when it's gonna be up, but yeah favorite pair of shoes and they match really well with this shirt with these like off-white accents on the chest. Decently big v-neck, got a pocket right here. Nothing on the back, short sleeve, short cut, and yeah, let's try it on. Next up, another good piece for the summer. We have this shirt by Hurley. As you can see, it says 99 in the front. It's like a really breathable mesh you got like a mesh material really breathable as i already said that's how it looks on the back got the black and the gray that's the shirt really breathable and let's try it on it might see that i'm not talking a lot about each piece but there's just so many pieces and i kind of want to cut through this as soon as possible as you can see, we got a lot of pieces left. Next up, another basic long tee. This is actually by Forever 21. The only cool thing about it really is it's got these side zippers and silver. Really cool accent. Another thing that really became popular in 2015. Forever 21, basic black t-shirt. Also guys, I have the white version of this t-shirt, but it's in the wash right now, and I didn't think it was necessary to put it in the video, but yeah. That's the shirt. Let's try it on. Oh. 
Next up, another two pieces that I got both in a black and a white. These are really interesting material by EPTM. I don't really know what that stands for. Again, size large, made in the USA. It's like this quilted pattern right here. You got this like quilted pattern all throughout the piece. And yeah, I got this really, really pretty defined scoop. If you can see that, hopefully. Actually, it's better to see on the white one. Got that scoop right there. Yeah, you can see that now. And yeah, you can see on this one, got the quilt pattern, but actually, sadly, I haven't been rocking the white one because one of the quilts right there actually came out. I don't know if you could see that that well. Right there, it actually unstitched, so hopefully I can get that fixed. If not, I don't know what I'll do with the shirt, but yeah, some dope pieces right here. Uh, pretty long and yeah, let's try them on. Next up, we got a cool shirt by Zara. And this is actually an extra large, believe it or not. And it doesn't, I, I really would, would have gotten this in extra, extra large, but this is all I had. And it's not even that long of a shirt, really. It's just a regular black t-shirt, nothing on the back and on the front, just this little graphic design that says, it all changes when the sun goes down. Just thought it would look cool. And that's why I picked it up. Not a whole lot left to say about it. Let's try it on. Getting into another piece by Zara. This is actually a really nice shirt. Cool paisley patterns. This blue, little brown hits on the bottom. Got this white and black. Really, really breathable, really soft. This is a size large as well. And I really like this shirt because I really don't wear a lot of colors in my wardrobe besides red and like the Tiffany blue and some things here and there. But this is a nice blue to add to my wardrobe before this really well with my true blue threes as you can see good match up really cool pattern here's a little close up on it and yeah let's see how it looks on next up we got another kind of tiffany color shirt this is by kyle klein actually picked this up a while ago and it's just basically v-neck size large as well got this kind of dark blues purples on the bottom um but yeah i think it's a cool pattern comfortable t-shirt can't really go wrong with it let's try it on next up we have this really 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 long shirt by czar it actually also has a hood it's a really long piece as you can see but it has no split hem so it really feels long when you're wearing it. For me, it's like on the border of too long, but I just really liked it. This is a size large as well, but I got the large because it's pretty slim fitting in the chest and the medium was just too tight, so I had to get the large. And looking at the accents, not really any words on the front of the shirt. Got a little kangaroo pouch, goes all the way through through got these little accents on the sleeves got these stripes right there and you also got some words on the back it says turn your back to the sun i don't know who makes these quotes they're pretty random they're kind of like tumblr quotes really there's also some stripes on the back and i didn't even notice this until now we got some more words on the side and it's kind of hard to show you guys that but it says you say it changes when the sun goes down whoever makes these quotes is really obsessed with the sun pretty basic outfit and let's try it on next up another comfortable piece by czar we got this red and white striped long sleeve shirt this is a size extra large actually really comfortable piece i believe i wore this on christmas I actually have a picture of me wearing this on my Snucks page, on my overhead fit shelf. The sleeves are kind of long, go down to the bottom of the shirt. I don't really wear a lot of long sleeve shirts, but this one I really like. It's really like thin stripes as you can see. 
And yeah, I'll throw this on for you guys and let's get into the next piece. Next up, we actually have a wild print t-shirt. I picked this up from H&M in the city, like in the summer, I believe. And yeah, I got this crazy, crazy pattern right here. Purple, yellow, red, and black, and like this aqua green color. It's a decently long shirt. I really love this, especially me being an artist. These crazy patterns I love. And actually, it kind of reminds me of Keith Haring's work. Just these shapes. If, you, if you're into art and you know Keith Haring, you know what I'm talking about when you see this shirt. Actually, I wore this once with my What the KDs. Yeah, as you can see, crazy, crazy patterns. This is a actually a medium, and yeah, let's try it on. Next up, we have a cool piece by Tendi. This is a size large, and I love the acid wash on this shirt. This blue and white, really, really cool. Got some accents on the chest right there. It's just a bunch of different 10 Deep logos. Got some stripes, 10 Deep, Larger Living, the three X's in USA, New York, and another three horizontal stripes. But here's just a close up on that really cool print. And here's just a look of it on the back. It says 1X DXXP, the 10 Deep. They use X's for zeros for most of their products. It's not really that breathable. It's more like a fall piece. It's kind of warm for the winter, but yeah, this is how it looks and let's try it on. Next up, we have another piece by Zara, pretty short shirt, got this really cool pattern on it, I had to pick it up. It's a white t-shirt with all of these different letters around it. From like a distance, it doesn't even look like letters, but if you look at it close up, they're all letters all around and like this cool swirls. I feel like Zara either has really, really simple pieces and then they have these like crazy, crazy pieces that just have like words, letters, crazy patterns, mixed matching material. And this is one of those pieces that I really like. It's still pretty simple, but when you look at it close up, it's actually a lot more complex. Same on the back as you can see. And yeah, let's try it on. Next up, we actually have a shirt that I got a long time ago. This is actually from Lewis from La Trill, USA. He actually gave me this shirt as a gift. It's a Bin Trill shirt in the Tiffany blue. He gave me this when I restored. I did a midsole repaint on his bread fours. Met up with him in the city. Definitely check out his channel. I'll link it down below. But yeah, here's the back. It's a really cool shirt. It has a size large. 100% cotton, got the Bin Trill logo wing and like the hashtags on the sleeves and Bin Trill on this sleeve. Thanks bro for this shirt, really, really appreciate it. And yeah, let's try it on. Next up we actually have two tank tops. This one right here is a striped one, size medium. That's what it looks like. Black and blue stripes. I don't even know this brand because it doesn't say, it just has a logo. That's the brand right there. Don't even know what that is. Comment below if you know what brand this is. But yeah, this actually came from Urban Outfitters. Shane and Lizzie got me this as well with that red t-shirt in the beginning of the video for my birthday. Pretty basic tank top, but really breathable. Great piece for the summer. And yeah, not much to say about it. Let's try it on. Next up, we have a tank top from H&M. Another crazy print from H&M. Basically a black tank top, a really, really long, like um, where the sleeves are, I don't even know what to call this, the excess of sleeves, your armholes. This actually goes like down to here and it's just a bunch of words on here, a bunch of different things, I don't even know what's on it. And that's actually really long as you can see. There you go, right there. Yeah, same on the back. Let's try it on. Staying with Zara for the next couple pieces, 
We have two of the same piece again, but two different colors. I'll show you the lighter one so you can actually see it better. I actually wore this in an old video when I actually had blue hair. Photo shoot for my salon, I wore this. This piece by Zara, they don't make this anymore. After I picked it up, I never really saw it in store again. Got this diagonal kind of, not a stitch, but it's like a drawstring. Got the raw cut edge sides. So this is 70% cotton and 30% linen. This is a medium. This isn't a hood, it's just like a, and it's not a turtleneck either. So it just kind of stays there. I don't really know what you want to call it. And it has drawstrings for it also. Also got it in black. As you can see, it's kind of dark in camera, both a size medium, and yeah. Next up from Zara, we got this black extended shirt right here with these really nice side tips right here, as you can see. It actually gets a collar shirt. It's uh, like a two button button up on the top. So really nice piece. It's like a half dressy, half casual kind of piece. Nothing on the back. And yeah, let's try it on. Next up we got two of my favorite pieces from Zara, these collarless button ups right here, these short sleeves. Yeah, so here's the shirt, really nice, it's kind of like a quarter cropped sleeve, it kind of ends like right here, it doesn't have a collar, just straight button up. Yeah, I can't really say enough about this, I haven't really worn the white one a lot, this one is actually not in black, it's kind of like a navy, there you go, same thing button up, right here it says it's a slim fit, <laughs> yeah, okay. This is actually what I was saying before. As you can see, this isn't really that big of a shirt, and this is an extra large. That's right, extra large. I just don't understand. I know like Zara is a European brand, but like, why is this a US extra large? And most of the pieces there don't even come in X XXLs. But like, I feel like most of the pieces there are so off with sizing. But yeah, really love these pieces. Let's try them both on and get to the next piece. Next up we have one of my favorite, favorite button ups. Once again by Zara. This is an extra large as well. White, blue, and like a striped gray. Kind of a short collar as you can see. I actually wear this one all the way buttoned up. I don't know, I just like the way it looks. It's not really that constricting on the neck. Pretty basic. Got like a stitch going all the way around here. Wear this a lot to formal slash casual events. And yeah, people really compliment me on this. Really nice piece, love this, let's try it on. Sticking with the button ups, we actually have, once again, another Zara collarless button up, but this one's actually a long sleeve. This is from their denim collection. And this is an extra large as well, slim fit, made in Morocco. And yeah, kind of like a, a light denim. Got the pocket right here, long sleeve. Comment below your thoughts on how I have this all set up. I, I always like to improve my setup for my videos. There's a little close up on the tags, our man denim collection. So I don't really know where I left off when I was talking about this because my camera just cut out because it overheated a little bit. That's the shirt right there. Let's try it on. Next up we have a really dope jersey right here by H&M once again. It's uh, like a mesh kind of jersey but it's pretty heavy because of all the graphic on it. Got these cool Japanese hits right here. Got the tree mountains and I don't know what it says don't 
assume that I know what it says because I don't. We got that on the chest right there. Got some buttons, nothing on the sleeves, but the cool part is on the back. Got some more Japanese and it says 94. Got some more words down here. This is a size medium, once again by H&M. Dope jersey, black and white, can't go wrong. Goes perfect with black and white Jordan ones, you could see. Bam, and yeah, let's get into the last two pieces. Next up we got this checkered plaid shirt, this jersey kind of thing. Really interesting neck kind of right there. Black buttons going all the way down, short sleeves, this is a size medium. It's by Forever 21, 21 men. I know only a couple Forever 21s around have like men's section, but if you actually go to the men's section, they sometimes have some pretty nice stuff. Uh, nothing crazy usually, but I like going just to check it out. And yeah, pretty basic. Plaid can never really go wrong. Goes perfect with fall. Can wear with these. Can wear especially with these. You can see. Stay tuned for the review on these. And yeah, let's try this on. Okay, guys. Last up, we have well, actually one of my favorite pieces that I picked up this year. It's this denim vest by. H&M. Really, really love this piece. It's a size large. It's like a light denim, but it's really cool because it has a bunch of distressing on it, as you can see on the bottom. It is sleeveless, as you can see. Really love this. Actually, I'll just throw it on right now. Why not? And there you go, right there. This is how it looks. And actually, I leave the collar up. I just like how it looks like that. And I mean, you could wear it with the collar down, but I prefer it with popped collar. Okay, so as you can see, this is how the bottom of it looks. And I love putting long shirts under this, even though this isn't really a long shirt, but you got that cool layering effect. Wear it like this, you set. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, long video, really dope clothes though. Really, I'm happy that I was able to start getting the ball rolling for this. Stay tuned for parts two, three, and four. I'm gonna do the shorts, pants, jackets, coats, hats, accessories. So definitely stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed watching this video, definitely hit that thumbs up button. It definitely goes a long way and just motivates me to make more of these videos. If you're not already, hit the subscribe button below and stay tuned for the channel. As I already said, getting close to 300,000 views. By the time this video is up, it's probably already hit that. Also, I hit 3,000 subscribers a couple days ago, and it's all because of you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos, commenting, liking, or anything. <laughs> Without you, my channel would be nothing. And if you're not already, you can find all my social medias down below in the description. Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Snuffs, and ViscoCam. And yeah, that's enough for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Scouts 4 and 7, signing out. Peace.